Let's now bring in Rebecca uh, Koffler, who is a U.S. intelligence expert born in Russia. And Rebecca, I'm just looking at a map of Ukraine right now and the explosions that have been heard around the country in Karkarov, Maripol, Odessa, and Kyiv. That means that there are explosions in the north, uh, east, south, and central Ukraine. Are you surprised by the strategy from Vladimir Putin? And what is his next move? Oh, I'm absolutely not surprised. Uh, this is something that Putin has been planning for the past uh, 20 years. It's part of a larger master plan to ensure that post-Soviet states are returning back under Moscow's control. And so this is what we are seeing right now unfolding is Putin's playbook. What I expect next is uh, massive cyber attacks, electronic warfare, space warfare, air and missile bombardments of key military command and control government targets. And I would not even rule out a decapitation strategy uh, to force Zelensky to flee. That is how Putin operates. Wow. Putin warned that interference with <clears throat> Russia's invasion would lead to, quote, consequences you have never had in your history. Rebecca, what does he mean by that? This was clearly a threat that uh, Putin articulated uh, last night in his speech, in which he authorized, and I quote, special military operation against, uh, he said, eastern Ukraine. He's basically telegraphing uh, to the United States and NATO to stay out of it. And, uh, and if they don't, Putin has prepared a five-point plan in which he would go all the way to a shooting war with the U.S. and NATO, mm. including launching nuclear strikes in Europe. And that is a de-escalatory strategy in Putin's mind. And we knew that in the intelligence community. And unfortunately, our Washington establishment security um, establishment has not prepared for this. And this is a real tragedy. OK, so just to follow up, you are saying that Putin's threat to the U.S. and NATO countries isn't just, I'm going to attack you cyber-wise if you interfere. You say he is threatening actual man-on-man, -man, woman woman-on-woman, person-on-person combat, correct? That is absolutely correct. This is exactly what my book is about, Putin's playbook, Russia's secret plan to defeat America. Putin has developed a very sophisticated strategy that the Russians call asymmetric or new generation warfare. And if the Russian intelligence interprets or even misinterprets U.S. and NATO actions as offensive instead of defensive, then Putin can authorize a preemptive doctrine, which includes both kinetic and non-kinetic options. Hmm. We're hearing that the um, EU is going to hit Russia with a san sanctions package like they've never seen before. Um, the U.S. is also going to announce additional sanctions. Um, you are saying some pretty scary stuff right now. Um, how can what you're saying be avoided? Unfortunately, Carly, we're at the 11th hour right now. The sanction policy has been quite uh, foolish and really not grounded in reality. The same people who have been uh, crowing that uh, Russia is a gas station mas uh, masquerading as a country and the Russian GDP is the size of Italy somehow expect that sanctions are going to stop Putin from executing his master plan that he's been hatching for for two decades. Well, that's not how it works. The amount sanctioned is minuscule. Russia's GDP is $1.48 uh, trillion. And um, this is uh, not something that is going to make a difference. And besides, Putin has been sanction proofing his economy ever since the first sanctions hit Russia back in 2014 after he chopped off Ukraine's Crimea. Okay, Rebecca, then what does stop Putin at this point? At this point, unfortunately, short of risking going to war with Putin, I am very— um, I'm very worried to say that uh, nothing will stop him, because, again, Putin has been preparing for 
two decades for this, and he's been watching very carefully U.S. operations for the past two uh, decades in Iraq, Afghanistan, Kosovo. And they have concluded that every aspect of our warfighting style uh, is highly dependent on technology. And they have developed a strategy that includes cyber and space warfare options that hit exactly at the vulnerabilities of the U.S. Chilling Rebe words. Yeah. Rebecca Koffler, thank you so much uh, for those warnings. Very important this morning.